Hey friends, have you ever squatted with someone who you're like, man, that person really needs some touching up, some good triage on their squat? Or maybe it's you who has a difficult time squatting a little lower, uh, a little bit more properly without uh, the stress on your lower back and also making sure those knees are above the toes rather than out in front uh, and, and therefore risking injury. Well, the Wolf Wedge is definitely a great tool to have in the garage uh, or at your home gym like we do. And what we found over the course of uh, the period of time we've been using this on uh, our clients and then also with ourselves, uh, you know, in, in squatting ourselves and doing calf stretches ourselves, is that this polyethylene um, Wolf Wedge is an extremely effective tool and I wanted to share it with you and uh, hopefully this helps you uh, get some insights on this actual product. And I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how I use it uh, here in my garage gym. Let's get right to it. All right, so before I get started with the squat, I wanted to just show you the angle of the wedge here. It's got a really nice wedge design. It's very durable, it's portable, obviously. And here it says, attack your goals. So not everybody that comes in obviously is wearing platform or lifting shoes. So this helps provide a great tool for them. And I'm gonna go ahead and position the camera down so you can see what we do here. All right, so I've got the wedge right here. It's ready to go. I've got my bar all racked up. And let's go ahead and uh, show you how I position my feet. So as you can see, there's a little lift that's happening right here, this angle on the wedge. And what that's gonna help me do is, it's gonna help me squat down, keeping my back straighter, right? My knees over my toes, rather than if you squatted outside of this without the actual wedge, this would likely be happening. We notice this with clients and sometimes even with ourselves, if we're lifting slightly heavier weight, is we end up coming forward, right? Or not being able to get that flexion on the back here and gets that in the ankle, obviously, and our, and, our, and our heels begin to lift up. And we want to avoid that so we can get a proper squat, right? But watch what happens once I use the wedge. I'm going to bring the wedge in. I'm going to go ahead and get under the bar. Now I'm ready to go. Step back into that squat. Check that out. I can get much deeper into my squat. You can adjust the feet accordingly based on the squatter and their capabilities. Here they are. All right. My weight dropping back into my heels a little bit more, which this allows that to happen. The wedge definitely allows you to drop your, uh, drop your weight back into your heels a little bit more, obviously, because you are getting that angle. All right. And there it is. You come right off the wedge very easily and re-rack. So something I wanted to share with you guys was that this is also very portable. So if we go to the gym, we go to, uh, you know, our local gym or whatever it is, or we're working with somebody outside of our garage gym, we can just put, throw this in the back of the car and take it along with us. And we can even put this in one of our bags. Uh, so it's, that's very helpful to just be able to pull out right away and apply that to the actual workout. So anyway, um, to bottom line it for you, this is an extremely versatile tool um, in the garage gym or at your gym. I highly recommend it. One other thing I wanna add before I let you go is that this can also be used for calf exercises. So the way we do that is we can go ahead and turn the wedge over. We come up here and right here, right where I've got the bar racked, I just go ahead and lift my calves up like this. And as you can see, I'm getting a calf workout right now. You can do single, single leg, single calf workouts, right? Very versatile or dual calf workouts, right? There it is. Or balance, you can go ahead and use it for tension and balance, just like this. And practice, practice your balance. So, all right. Okay, friends, I hope this helped you make a decision on the Wolf Wedge. Stay rad.